It was Jean Charles used to be a land full of life, but now all that's left of it is a skinny line of houses surrounded by water. So with the help of government funding, the residents are working towards resettlement. Well, my home, it won't be livable for any much longer. The resettlement team set up a drive through presentation for the residents of Ile de Jean Charles to get a first look at their properties. The residents were shown the layout of their houses, the color schemes they picked, and the plots of land that will become their future homes. Another big piece of it is that Ile de Jean Charles is uh, pretty isolated. Is that that's important to the folks who live there. And whenever uh, we're done here, it's really going to be a sort of secluded place for them to live, very much like the island. They have set up water features throughout the property to give the residents an opportunity to be close to nature. Father Rock Nakan blessed the resettlement property after driving through it that day. To give them a place where they can not only be safe again, but also where they can try to build up the The Native American tribes on the isle have been collecting plants and vegetation to bring to the new settlement to make it feel more like home. The residents decided to name the property the new isle, which Simon Nakan calls his new home. He plans to make the new isle his home by getting married in the community center once they move in. This project offers the residents of Ile de Jean Charles a chance to give their children and future generations a future safe from harm and safe to grow and practice their way of life and cultural traditions for years to come. This has been Hannah Robert with KNSU-TV.